All right, let's take a look at outputs. And when you're outputting a map, the uh, question is, you know, what's your audience? Kind of layouts, the scales, doing multiple maps, putting reports, doing animation. Uh, there's many different flavors of output uh, in addition to uh, web-based outputs. Okay, so who are we trying to reach? Are we trying to reach a, a, a trained analyst or are we looking at the general public? So uh, the, the purposes there are you trying to get people to think visually or are you just trying to communicate information? Naturally the uh, general public we want it to be believable um, and we want to be very graphical with our trained analysts. We have fine resolution and scale here and kind of a course here for uh, quick communication. Okay, so elements of the layout, uh, the map, the size of the map with respect to the size of the paper. Uh, do we want titles, subtitles, uh, types of legends? Um, we want to be careful that we don't um, put in what's called chart junk, which is uh, titles that don't really give you any information. Sources of your data, what's the graphic scale? We may put on uh, north arrows, rectangular boundaries, so we can orient people to the map. Uh, we may have smaller maps and set into bigger maps. We may want to put tables on our maps, charts, uh, text, photograph, uh, so on and so forth. So here's an example. Um, you can see it's got the uh, map elements. The map is relatively large with respect to the size of the paper. We have a legend over here that clearly identifies our uh, information we're trying to convey. We have our source, we have a scale, we have a north arrow and a title. Another example, uh, here we have uh, population by county. Here's the legend over here and if you if you notice there's no title here to the legend because it's obviously a, a, a map that the, the title describes what we're looking at. So we can have fonts uh, with different styles and so on. We don't want to get too fancy with this. Uh, we want uh, placement of these fonts and the halos to give us some contrast. Uh, here's an example that's that's kind of a bad layout. So the, the, the size of the information, spatial information we're trying to uh, show is very small. Uh, the north arrow is over here occupying a lot of space. It's kind of wasted. Um, here we have you know legend telling us not really any information and so it's just uh, pieces of this don't really communicate very well. Uh, here's the same information in a good layout so the size of the, the uh, uh, data is, is much larger to look at. The legend is uh, telling us exactly what it is we're looking at. Okay so scale ratios um, kind of interesting here. This is uh, sort of backwards from what you might want to think. Um, so here's an example. 1 to 24,000. What it means is that one inch on the map is 24,000 inches on the ground or 2,000 feet. Okay, so we can put a, a graphic line on the map with ground distances. So that's kind of a handy thing. Uh, scales are uh, are kind of backwards from what you think. So 1 to 5,000 is large scale and 1 to 50 million is small scale. So uh, what makes this uh, kind of backwards is this is a, a large number which means a small scale and this is a small number comparatively that means a large scale. Uh, scale bars uh, show up here or uh, in the case of QGIS they'll be, they'll be down here and we've played some with changing, you know, labeling and so on with respect to the, the scale arrow. So you can see as the number gets smaller, we've, we've zoomed in here on this, on the area. Even smaller yet, we're even closer in. Smaller yet, closer in. So uh, these are standard. Scales that are commonly used, 1 to 2,000, 1 to 10,000, and so on and so forth. Um, and then a reference for where you might find those. 
Uh, probably one of our bigger things we want to watch for is whether the data we received is in feet or meters, and we need to make sure we project to that. We've done some examples that have um, have shown that if your units are wrong, the data is not going to line up, even if you have the correct projections. And most CAD applications, uh, we do CAD drawings, they're going to be coming in, in, uh, in inches.